YouTube, what's going on? My name is Kevin the Tech Ninja, and today we're taking a look at the Galaxy S6 and the Galaxy S6 Edge. We're gonna look at the differences to see what the difference is. You know, if you're still on the fence between the two and you're not sure which one to get exactly, uh, this video hopefully should help you out. All right, guys, we are back. Um, as I said before, this is the Galaxy S6 Edge and the normal Galaxy S6. Um, just a disclaimer, I've been using the S6, this guy, for over a week, and I just got the Edge. So the Edge actually is not set up all the way. I'm still setting it up. Um, but we can talk about the differences between the two and kind of go from there. So obviously, the, the number one difference is this whole Edge thing that you see on the side here, where it's kind of a waterfall effect. Now, this right here is the standard S6, which doesn't have the waterfall effect, but everything else is pretty standard. Um, I didn't look at specs because I wanted to give you a real world hands-on experience and the S6 Edge, just the way it's tapered off, it feels like a thinner phone and it feels smaller too. It's really hard to explain, but when I was typing on the keyboard, I felt like my fingers were really close together versus on this guy right here, uh, I sort of felt more spaced out because the way this edge sort of tapers down, your hands end up being a little bit closer to each other. Not a bad thing, but it's something that's different. And it just, for some reason, the edge feels lighter. It's really tough to tell, and they're, they're probably the same weight, but the edge does feel a little bit lighter. Now, if you can see how they're tapered off on these top edges, they're tapered off differently because this does have the edge, so this part is a lot thinner. Um, if you say, take a look at the edge, everything is a lot thinner on the edge um, as far as the top taper when it comes down. And you also have less surface of hitting the, the power button and the volume button. Everything is just on a thinner access, thinner edge. Also when it comes to the SIM card, the SIM card on the standard is under the power button, but on the edge it's not under the power button. It's actually on top near the IR blaster, which is something to know. Um, so there is a little bit different uh, as far as the way they're set up. Now everything else is pretty much the same as far as the thickness, um, as far as the where the ports are at, everything else pretty much feels the same. Now obviously the Edge does provide you with a extra software feature, this little slide out people edge where you can add people right here and quickly contact them. Now it's something I'm not gonna use often because I don't have an option when I use the people edge to do a hangout message. All there is is call, email, and text. And I don't really do, um, I don't call that much. And I really don't email too much to people for my People Edge. I will use like Hangouts. So I don't have that option in here. Um, but the People Edge is here where something you could use. And also there's a few other Edge-like features. Nothing that's groundbreaking, nothing that would change the, the way we use our phones today. But just overall how it looks, in my opinion, I just like this Edge look. It's different. And, you know, if you've been using smartphones for a very long time, like I have, then you'd want something different, something that's nice, unique. Everything else is the same. I do believe that this has a 50 milliamp more battery to cover the edge features. Like if you miss a call from one of your edge contacts, um, it will illuminate the desk right here. Well, it will illuminate underneath the phone right here. Just little things like that, which actually, you know, adds a little software element to it. Nothing major, but um, that does provide you with a larger battery. I'm not 100% sure. If I'm wrong, I'm gonna put a big disclaimer up, but I was told that it's a 50 milliamp battery difference. Um, so let me show you a difference, what I mean. So let's head into YouTube. I haven't set it up yet on this device, so I gotta skip through some stuff. And we're gonna go Kevin the Tech Ninja. All right, family guy deleted scenes. Then you gotta make sure you have enough RAM. Get the big enough hard drive. See, this is why we don't tell you anything about it. Let's drop this volume down. Okay. So, so you see the difference here? Um, this sort of has a hard stop, like the video is over and it, you know, the video is ended, it stops the bezel. This sort of curves beyond the bezel. It kind of gives you like an extra feeling that you have more screen. 
even though you may technically not have more screen, but it being curved down does make it look like that. So it's just a couple things that I like about the edge that I just wanted to, um, you know, want to bring to your attention and just, you know, show you the difference. If you were on the fence between the two, don't let the software be your deciding factor because the software isn't that great. But if hardware is your deciding factor, then you should really check out the edge. I think it's new, it's fresh, it's exciting. And yeah. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please let me know. Once again, guys, my name is Kevin, the Tech Ninja, and this is just a quick video to let you know the difference between the edge and the non-edge of the Galaxy S6. Take care, guys.